The trial begins for the man charged with killing his three-month-old baby. A 14-person jury was seated today. News 13 Stephanie Bachara is live at the Osceola County Courthouse with the latest. Stephanie. We listened to chilling audio of the 911 phone call, a phone call that Larry Perry made himself. Prosecutors say he beat his infant son to death. They're charging him with first degree murder and aggravated battery against a child. It was an emotional day in court, even for first responders as they described the last dying moments of a three month old child. The baby had pale skin, had injuries to his face and his chest. And blood coming from his ear. In this 911 call, you can hear an operator with the St. Cloud Police Department giving CPR instructions to Larry Perry. Place your hand on the baby's forehead and your other hand under the baby's neck and shoulders and tilt his head back a little bit. All in an effort to save his son. According to the state attorney's office, Perry was taking care of his newborn on February 13, 2013, when the child would not stop crying. Perry threw the child against the wall twisted his neck and stomped on his face. The baby's head has suffered so much trauma that it begins to swell. He's now got a hold of the two hands. Jurors watched the reenactment video in which Perry used a baby doll to explain how he handled the baby before calling 911. I was on the bed like this. Perry's attorney insinuated Perry usually has help when it comes to taking care of his son and that this was his first time alone with the baby. I told you I pretty much went crazy. I can't do this by myself. I told them. That's what the, the disc said. So is that what happened? That's what he said. The video played in court showed Perry apologizing for what he had done. If I couldn't calm him down, his mom calmed down. I never threatened him, hurt him, and none of that stuff. The jury is made up of seven women and seven men jurors that will have to come up with a verdict. State Attorney Brad King is seeking the death penalty in this case. We will continue to follow this trial as it develops. Live in the Osceola County Courthouse, I'm Stephanie Bechara, News 13.